Hey everyone, it is Robin Ellis, otherwise known as Inspired Robin Healer, coming to you on YouTube with the monthly energy reading. And I'm here on, what's it, Monday the 3rd of July, the afternoon. Uh, just felt the call to, to record today instead of on the beginning of the month for some reason. Um, yeah, because it fell on the weekend. Today is the day of the full moon in Capricorn, which is happening this evening. A um, little bit of things to consider from our lovely gratitude diary by Melanie Spears. The things to consider that she has in the diary for this month, full moon in Capricorn, is do I lose myself in family? In which ways am I self-reliant? virtue or vice? Do I have enough time alone or do I spend too much time with myself? Because basically the message that the full moon speaking, oh, I guess I'll go into the message that's written in the, the book here is sturdy design, engineering and a solid foundation are needed for a house to protect those that live within from the ever shifting elements that dance outside. Once the walls are up, an interior space is created. Within the interior, family life rings out its rhythm of dom domesticity and comfort. Within the alchemy of cooking, cleaning, and all the little touches and shared intimacies of family life, I see individuals fused together. Within the house of rooms and private nooks that allow space and privacy for each individual to rest, think, and develop their unique strengths and capacities. From the melting pot we call family, we get given many names, brother, sister, mother, father, titles that can make you forget that behind each label is the heartbeat of an individual. Respect and honour the differences amongst you. It will only strengthen your family or household. So it feels like a call for, you know, working on our individual self. So I'll be curious to hear what Metatron, Archangel Metatron, 100% pure, divine, uncontaminated, protected, sacred light has to share with us for this month of July 2023. For those who tune in to Inspired Robin. And we've got the Mother Earth card. As it's speaking to me. We had this card in a weekly reading recently. I'm, I've been feeling a lot of higher heart chakra today. And so this card brings us grounding and support. Your attention is drawn to the need to ground your energies into the earth. Ongoing energetic upgrades, solar flares, portals of light, attunements, and so on while positive, need anchoring through you into the ground. If you don't do this, you can feel lightheaded, off balance and unintegrated. Getting out in nature is a great healer for you now. It may be that you're being affected by collective energies too. And are empathic, so empathic to the pain of others right now, as well as earth changes and more. So in the past life, uh, past month for me, I've had you know, someone that I care for in my world, in my lifetime, uh, depart the earth. So I guess that is, you know, I'm feeling grief. I don't know, pop, pop in the comments here if you have experienced any grief in recent months, weeks, days. It feels like there's a lot going on right now. Likewise, toxins and heavier energies may be sitting within you that need to be released into earth and the transmutation she offers. This includes electromagnetic smog and air pollution picked up from an impure environment, as well as additives and chemicals you ingest in your daily diet. I know today I felt a bit indulgent. <laughs> I think it's the cold weather and, you know, rainy day. Mm. <laughs> so that's also a, a, a bit of a hint to be paying attention to our health and what we're eating. And I was recently on a cleanse, so there's no excuse. Last month, I did cleanse. To fall back into old habits isn't a good thing. 
Not that I want to berate myself because I need to be kind and gentle and sometimes we do need to, to um, you know, let go and let be. So the earth is able to do this process of transmutation, easily taking what is not needed and sending it to the molten core where it is used to, as fuel to keep this star upon which we all live alive. You also are asked to re-examine your relationship with the earth and to feel her steady heartbeat underneath you. The planet you chose as your home and which provides all you need. She asks, and I'm looking at the wrong part of the camera, she asks for your support and help to bring light and harmony to this earth and to honour the sacred places that connect us to a wider network of grid lines of crystalline light. You do this by simply connecting via meditation to a special place or by sitting or walking on the land, allowing the light you carry to nourish her soil. You may give back crystals that have been taken from her when your need for them is gone, and you may help clean the beaches, pick litter from the hedgerows, or simply look after your own piece of land, however small, passing it on to the next generation in a better state than you found it. Look at the image of fields on this card. It asks you to ground your ideas, thoughts and plans into reality. Green shoots of new beginnings in any area of life first need to be sown and then cultivated with time and effort. Think carefully about what you wish to plant this year. And we're into a new financial year here in Australia, if you're Aussie and you're watching. And what, so it, it makes sense, like what you wish to plant for the next financial year. What areas need your focus and care? It may be spending more time with family, hence this moon message. A new start at work or a new home to find. Whatever you want to plant is made manifest, not just by having an idea, but it requires action, intention and doing. And I know all the last weekend, the weekend that I didn't record this video, I've been getting the message of and body actual speak like listening to what my body's trying to tell me about procrastination, self-sabotage, not taking action. So I don't know, you might be in a similar boat to me, pay attention to the signs, whether it be body signs, body pains, or actual things going off at home that might be triggering you to realize you're either not taking the right action or you're not taking any action on something towards what you're wanting to manifest. So whatever you want to plant is made manifest, not just by having an idea, but it requires action, intention, and doing. So the clear quartz cube depicted on the card is a sacred geometric shape linked to the base chakra and the earth star. It reminds you of the need for strong foundations, thinking outside the box, and building something concrete that is real, tangible, and made possible by material means. If you struggle with bringing your dreams and ideas to reality, remember that everything is built one block at a time. It all, take, all it takes is for the first block to be placed, which sets your intention and says to the wider universe that you're serious and this is real. Whether putting down a deposit on an educational course, writing a CV or painting a room to make it into an office, you create powerful waves of change and growth that starts with just one tangible step. The seed only grows into a tree because it was planted. So plant something new today. It's interesting that it says that, like because I've been getting a lot of signs and people saying to me and people hinting at me to start like a meditation circle. And my friend has loaned me her set of crystal bowls. Not that I'm really showing you the bowl here. But I've got this bowl and it's right there. Oh, sorry. We won't put it there. Maybe I'll sit back a little bit with on the desk so that you can see the bowl as I play it. This is the heart chakra bowl, by the way. So...
had him last last month coming in. if you would be interested in uh, subscribing to an online meditation session with me moving forward. That was just a sample of the sounds, but I've got the whole set of bowls, all the chakras to work with. And it was, I, I've played with it on my deck here, um, thinking about doing an in-person and an online event. So it's something that... <laughs> I've been very hesitant to do, but I'm more in tuned to doing this than I am to um, teaching, teaching Reiki, which I did my Reiki teacher last year. Um, it's one of those things and that is calling me to actually start doing something about. So that's that. I'm going to pull an animal card like I do every week, every month as well. So let's see what animal message we have for this month of July. We've got the sea turtle. So we've got the earth and we've got the water. Sea turtle beginnings, self-reliance, journey and home. And it goes with what I was just sharing about wanting to create meditation. See, I have this thing and I'm, and I'm going to be totally out there and honest with you all about, you know, there's so many wonderful people out there doing the same thing and I don't want to step on their parade because I know that they have the most beautiful energy and circles and I'm like, who am I to create something as that's similar or, you know, with my own spiel, with my own energy and my own guides and they're like laughing at me <laughs> or actually crying I'm actually feeling like crying just saying that because yeah like why not why not me too you know <sighs> yeah anyway sea turtle beginning self-reliance journey and home for this month of July Turtle is one of Earth's great grandfathers, evolving into form more than 200 million years ago before mammals, birds, snakes, and even lizards. At home on land and in the water, turtle's patient way and steady gentle strength enables it to outlive most other animals, including humans, with a lifespan often reaching 100 years or more. But turtle's journey does not have an easy beginning for water, tur water turtles such as the great leatherback, when the tiny soft-shelled beings break from their egg in a hidden nest of sand, they and hundreds of their brothers and sisters must race for the water's edge to escape the pursuit of birds, lizards, and other predators. For those who reach the water, the journey to safety and survival has only just begun. It is thought that as few as one in 1,000 sea turtles make it to their first birthday. But most of those who do remain for many years to come, carrying the torch of their species. Most soar within the weightless realms of water for up to 25 years before returning to the same area once again to mate. And for the females, bring their great bodies back 
onto the land for the first time since birth and begin laying eggs of their own. Nomad of the ocean realm, one of Turtle's great gifts is its shell, a home he is born with and can never be separated from. It's an intricate weaving of 60 different bones connected together. Most turtle shells are divided into 13 sections, honoured by many Indigenous cultures to symbolise the 13 phases of the moon each year. Talking about moons and moon phases and the full moon tonight. So the message that comes with this turtle card, this sea turtle card, is the message of turtle is to simply begin. Great journeys are made with small steps and steady progress. Turtle wisdom recognises that our first steps into any adventure and endeavour may feel clumsy, dangerous and scary. But when the moment comes to birth an idea, start a new friendship or take your first steps down a path that calls your heart, there is no substitute for simply answering the call. Begin. Follow the energy of the sun. Steady progress feels good. You need not hurry. But don't wait until the conditions are perfect. The act of beginning makes the conditions perfect. Helen, who lent me these bowls, that's what you've been saying to me. <laughs> so in the same way that a giant 1,700 pound sea turtle soars weightlessly in the sea of his belonging, you will find a sense of buoyancy rising within as you give yourself the gift of immersing in the energy of your calling. No matter how great the task may seem before you, no matter how tiny your first steps may appear, know that you are honoured for that which you bring to the circle. <laughs> circle. Okay. You are part of a bigger story unfolding and your dreams are connected to many others. Turtle teaches us endurance through peace, patience and gentle perseverance. Turtle calls you to find a sense of home within your own being now and to know that your journey through the world will always be supported. I am home within myself and in the world. I trust the call of my great spirit. When it comes, I hear it and I begin. Hmm. So we've got over here. Mother Earth, <laughs> grounding and support, and the sea turtle, which is bringing beginning self-reliance, journey, and home. Very, <laughs> I guess, energetic to the earth and the sea, to the earth and the water, to our path and our calling and our place that we came to to call home in this incarnation earth and see know that we can be self-reliant know that we can co-create we can ground and connect with earth and feel in her grace we can connect with the sea and flow in our connection to what it is we're here to do and bring and be despite all that's going on currently in the energies and I know it is a wild ride at the moment it is hard I've been feeling my own grief I'm still feeling I'm still really feeling my higher heart chakra upgrading the upgrades are definitely happening and I've also been like because of what's going on in the world not wanting to put light on it but the whole money card, money in the law of attraction. So we're thinking about for this month of July, what we're wanting to manifest, what we're wanting to bring in because the energies are rife for us to be in the zone of connection to what it is that we're truly wanting to create. Hence, I mentioned the bowl and creating circle for myself, for my tribe that I want to grow. So what have we got for this month? Nothing is more important and that I feel good. And this card came up on Friday as well. So <laughs> it goes, it's a repeating message for me. And for those who tune in to me, it's a repeating message for you too. If you saw the message from my Friday and you've seen the post on my Instagram and Facebook with this card, 
This message is repeating. So it wants to be known and heard and heeded. Whatever or whenever you are feeling less than good, if you will stop and say, nothing is more important than that I feel good. I want to find a reason now to feel good. You will find an improved thought. Anytime you feel negative emotion, you're in the mode of resisting something that you want. And that resistance takes its toll on you. It takes its toll on your physical body. And it takes its toll on the amount of wonderful things that you are allowing to come into your experience. Now, this card is different. It's similar but different. to the, A lot of these cards do have the same kind of vibe, but it's very similar. So yeah, I don't think it's the same card. But it is very similar. So I'm going to read it again because I feel like the collective and us as individuals really need to pay attention to this message. Especially with the energies out there currently, especially with the energies we've probably been going through for the past few years. And if we've got into a funk and if you've stopped yourself from like me creating that circle that people want you to listen to this because it's a sign whenever you are feeling less than good if you will stop and say nothing is more important than that i feel good i want to find a reason now to feel good you will find an improved thought anytime you feel a negative emotion you are in the mode of resisting something that you want. And that resistance takes its toll on you. It takes its toll on your physical body. And it takes its toll on the amount of wonderful things that you are allowing to come into your experience. And if you're like me and you've got chronic illness that's come in, and you've learnt about that chronic illness and you've learnt that a lot of it had to do with this, just this, this negative stuff, this negative experience, something negative happening in your life, in your world, in your experience. That is a sign that you felt it in your physical body. You felt that. We can shift our thoughts. We can shift our resistance to a good feeling thought. And not like I was doing before which was having food because <laughs> a lot of us will shift the negative with something that makes us feel good because it's come out of habit in life. It's come out of habit to, for example, have a drink of alcohol that numbs it and makes you feel a little bit out of it and a little bit more relaxed and a little better. It could be you take something, a pill or something like that, or a cigarette or, or a joint or marijuana or something it could be that you eat food i know for me food would be one of those things chocolate as an example or cacao which cacao is has a great use for opening up the heart chakra and in ceremony fantastic in ritual fantastic but in habit to make you feel better because you're feeling a bit negative probably not the the habit to get into per se what was, I'm just hearing now, like what was Mother Earth saying we want to get out into the earth? Yesterday I got out into my garden and I tidied it up. And this morning, you know, I got to really enjoy sitting, having breakfast and looking at the work that I've done. There's more that I want to do. It's like taking those little steps toward what you're wanting to create without thinking about what isn't there yet. It's about the fun, isn't it? Like It's like when you're going on a holiday or you're planning to take a holiday or a vacation and it's all that joy and excitement of building up to going away on that, that vacation or that holiday. It might be a cruise or a trip overseas or a trip to visit somebody special that lives interstate or far away or doing something fun um, or having a, a big celebration like I'm planning like in a couple of years, I'm turning... 50 yes 50 and I'm thinking I'm going to have a big karaoke party because that's something that I wanted to do for my 30th and didn't and the girl across the road had her 21st I think and she had a karaoke party and I was like oh 
I should have been competing with my own party. So it's like we need to be building that that kind of fun and feeling and and I've been getting that message a lot that improved thought in some way by an improved action potentially rather than dwelling in that lack thought in that negative feeling in that negative thought it's a simple lesson but it's very hard for us as humans a lot of the time to heed and take so on that note i'm going to finish with some more heart chakra let's think about that for a moment let's think about flipping the picture feeling negative Positivity and some positive energies. Get that spray at angeliccelestialcolors.uk.co.uk, I think it is. I'll pop the link in the show notes on my YouTube. But bring that in. Yes, the energies for July may feel a little heavy, they may feel a little sad in some instances, they may be a little triggered. But we can and we do have the power to be self-reliant and journey into a feel-good place. And part of feeling good is connecting with our Mother Earth and our Mother Gaia and letting her transmute some of that negative energy that we may have picked up getting into the garden, getting into the sand at the beach, walking the forests can all be helpful at this time. And it was helpful last month as well. So we, it's always there for us. Let's take care of her. And in taking care of her, we take care of ourselves. So until next month, thank you for being here. I'll see you all next month in August. Bye for now.